Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video was not meant to go out today. Um, I was meant to upload a pack with me for my holiday and unfortunately that file had corrupted, so that's great. Um, I decided whilst I'm away on holiday, this video will go up whilst I'm away. It might be that the first day that I'm away, but it will definitely, whilst this video is live, I will be on holiday. Fingers crossed I can get to Greece. If not, we've got a backup plan. We'll go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, my video schedules whilst I'm away, not that anyone cares, will be just on a Friday now. So I'll upload once a week on a Friday and hopefully normal videos will resume when I get back from holiday and I have all of the holiday content. But this video is a what I wish I knew before studying law. So if you're a law student, you're just about to go to uni and study law or you're in your first year or you're in your A-levels and you're thinking about studying law at uni, then this video is for you. So a little bit of background, I studied law, business law at Nottingham Trent University. I graduated last year, my course was for three years. I didn't do a placement year in my time at uni, I did a pathway year in my second year. So this is just my experience based upon my time at Nottingham Trent as a business law student. So the first big thing that I wish I knew before studying law is that even though your degree is for three years, it takes six years to be fully qualified as a solicitor. So you've got your three years as an undergraduate, then you've got one year postgraduate, and then you have two years in a training contract, totaling up to six years. If I had known that when I was applying to uni, I would not have chosen it. That's not to say that I'm lazy or that I don't think I could have done it. It's just that I knew I always wanted to go to uni, but I wanted to go to uni and then could go straight into a job. And had I known that it would have taken six years before properly starting my legal career, I probably would have rethought my decision just because I knew that after uni. And it's true, after uni, I was very ready to go into the working world, to go into the workplace. I didn't really want to do any more education, not that I'm opposed to doing any now. But at the time, I was just very ready to go into the working world and start my career. So that is number one. Your degree from start to finish to get in that job is six years. The second one, your books are expensive. I think I totaled it up over the three years, the mandatory books that you have to buy. Yeah, you have to buy your books, they're not given to you. You can find some in the library, but they go so quickly, you have to return them after so many weeks. You're probably going to spend about £500 over the three years on books. It's expensive. And compared to other courses, I think people probably have to buy one or two books. Uh, per year we had to buy I think my first year I bought about it was a bundle so maybe nine books um so yeah that was just year one year two I think I had to buy about five books year three probably around six um yeah you have to buy a lot of books and they are mandatory the course reps always recommend you buy their books that they throw because it helps with the um with the course, with the um, like the spec and everything because they're going to be teaching the um, modules and then linking it back to the book that they have wrote themselves. So number two, what I wish I knew before studying law, you're going to spend a lot of money on books. Number three, what I wish I knew before studying law is that you will be in uni pretty much Monday to Friday. You think that going to uni, looking at some other people that are studying, they are only in uni once a week for a couple of hours or three times a week, nine till two. No, not as a law student. You will be in uni pretty much Monday to Friday, maybe one day off. And you are, it's a full on course. So you're going to be there for long hours, Monday to Friday. It's intense. There's a lot of coursework, a lot of essay writing it's intense. So number three is that uni is intense and you are in Monday to Friday. There's no real days off. Number four is that your exams are going to be three hours long. 
I wish I'd known this before going to uni. Although with A levels you get sort of a practice, the only three hour exam I'd ever done was like a GCSE English one, and that felt like a lifetime ago that I did that. And then going to uni, pretty much all of my exams were, especially in third year, they were all three hours long. You may have the odd two hours or one hour exam in your first year, but after that, it's all three hours. So be prepared to sit down and write for a long time practice essay writing, practice papers, get all the practice in, get used to actually writing and not typing because you are going to be there, like I said, for a three hours. So yeah, that's number four. Your exams are three hours long. The next thing that I wish I'd known before studying law is that it's not an immediate key in the door you will potentially are not going to get snapped up after uni like everybody says there's this huge pressure once you go into your third year that um to find a training contract to get that job to network and find links and get that kind of key in the door to the industry and you think even if i don't go into law you're going to get snapped up no lot of people have degrees nowadays and having a law degree is impressive but not all employers think that that's an immediate employable oh she's got a law degree let's employ her so that's the next one I wish I'd known that just because I studied law does not mean that I'm any further forward than anybody else I'm still waitressing so that's where it's put me I'm still doing the same job as what I was doing before my degree I think we're on maybe number six now this is a good thing number six you get reading weeks because um not everybody that does a degree um has reading weeks if you don't know what reading weeks are they're essentially a week off uni because you've got a very information book heavy course and you spend a week reading you basically spend a week going back home chilling week off it's like having a half term because you don't really get half terms as such at uni so yes a good one is that you get reading weeks you get a week off in your first second and third year because law is a very information heavy and book heavy degree so you do get that week off so you can read and catch up on all of your notes and your reading so that is a positive that i wish i'd known before so i thought oh okay that's like a it's a good thing so you can look forward to your course. Number seven is that you need to get some sort of experience, voluntary work, some sort of placement in a law firm whilst you're at uni. Like I said before, um, I didn't do a placement year or uh, well, pathway in my time at uni, even though it was an option, I chose to do my business modules, which was part of my degree, business law. But employers are looking for you to have some sort of legal experience and time in a law firm once you come out of uni. And I know it sounds like how are you meant to get that experience if you've been studying for three years, but it's one thing that they're looking for. I wish I'd known that before, that whilst I was there, I was also going to have to actively look for some time in a law firm whilst I was there. So luckily at Nottingham Trent, they have a law firm, a student law firm within the uni. It's a fully functioning law firm with real clients, real cases. It's pro bono work. So you work for free and offer legal advice. So that is another thing to note that you will be expected to do some sort of legal work. And even if you don't do that in your actual course, you would be expected outside of that to have some sort of experience and time within a law firm. Number eight, what I wish I'd known before going to uni to study law is that during your time, you do actually get the chance to go and visit the real courts. You can go to the magistrate courts and the crown court and sit in the docks and listen to live cases. I would definitely recommend that if you're thinking about going to study law, if you're thinking about, if you're in your law degree, I would really recommend actually visiting the courts, sitting in the docks and listening to real cases, watching barristers argue cases and seeing things for themselves in real life, in, pr in practice unfold and see whether that's the kind of thing that you would want to do, such as a barrister, or as a solicitor. 
So that's number eight. Number nine, what I wish I'd known before studying law is that a barrister and a solicitor are different. And I know it sounds silly, you potentially do know that if you are going into law, but a lot of people that I studied with did not know the difference between a barrister and a solicitor. They just thought it's essentially the same thing. I thought um, a solicitor and a lawyer was different. You have solicitor, lawyer, lawyer, barrister. Um, they Solicitor and lawyer are the same thing. A barrister is different. So a lawyer slash solicitor is somebody that deals with legal cases. But they do not represent the clients in court. Some will in very small courts, but typically the bigger cases um, that will go forward to the Crown Court, for example, and in the magistrates, those kind of things, is a barrister that actually stands in courts and advocates on behalf of a client. And I didn't know that. So you have to do more training if you want to be a barrister. You have to go to the bar and study that. So that's an extra qualification that you need to gain after your undergraduate degree to become a barrister. So there is a difference. Solicitor, lawyer is somebody that does not represent them in court. Necessarily, they more do the paperwork, the legal findings and everything can then pass or possibly pass that work over to a barrister within that law firm and the barrister will represent that client in court physically. So there is a difference. They're not all the same. I thought a solicitor was different from a lawyer. Um, it's the same thing. So that's number nine. And then number 10, what I wish I knew before I studied law is, is it is so important to start early when looking at law firms, training contracts, law internships, um, it's really important if you are very serious about a degree and a career in law to start from early on within your degree to be looking towards things to put on your CV to help you with your job after uni and I think when you go to uni you're all about I'm here I'm doing my degree once I finish my degree I'll get the job but there's actually a lot of other things outside of just studying that you need to put in in order to really set aside yourself from everybody else as a law student so the things that people are looking for whilst you're actually at uni is over the summer to do a internship to have like a basically like a summer work placement internship in a law firm get some experience and that doing that in a law firm then gives you the opportunity to potentially get a training contract after you finish uni so it's really important to look at the type of things that you actually need to get before you actually finish and graduate with your degree so I wish that I had known before studying it that it's important to, in your first year, hopefully, do that summer placement in a law firm. If they like you, they'll offer you a training contract when you finish. Then you also potentially want to do a little bit of pro bono work, which is voluntary work whilst you're at uni. If your law firm, ha if your uni has a law firm like mine did, it's really get great to get some experience there. Visit the courts, listen to live cases. If you can, some people can go extra the, the extra mile and become a magistrate. And the misconception about becoming a magistrate, which the person in like the magistrate's courts that sits there and listens to the case is that a lot of people think magistrates are judges. They're not. Judges are often 60 year old white men, males that have been in the job for years and years magistrates you can become a magistrate at 18 and it you work for free so that is a voluntary position and it would really really set you aside to become a magistrate at 18 or to become a magistrate during your time at uni so you can go and sit there and get all the training about how to react to certain scenarios you've got to be really unbiased by certain things you can't be influenced by um personal opinions you have to be really neutral and biased and you sit there listen to case and you make a decision similar to a judge but you will not be a judge um in the more serious cases you could have a judge and then two magistrates it really depends um so it really doing your law degree whilst you're there just studying isn't enough to set 
yourself aside from everybody else. It's really important to put time and effort into your CV to build up your experience whilst you're there. So like I said, the summer placement internships, um, then you'd need to try and find links and networks to have that training contract when you finish uni. Go and visit the courts, build up a relationship with the local court to your uni. If you keep on going, people will start to recognise you. Then you can build networking relationships with people that work at the courts. Potentially inquire about becoming a magistrate at that court. Building up all this experience, so you've got potentially experience in the law firm where you do the summer placement, potentially get a training contract there and that's where you get your first job as a paralegal and then or go to the magistrate's courts, listen to the cases quite a lot, inquire about any positions there, potentially become a magistrate after that then you could get a placement within the courts so building up your networking and putting yourself out there and building up your skills and experience whilst you're at uni outside of just studying is so important to set aside yourself from everybody else because everybody else is finishing like myself with the law degree luckily i did a little bit of voluntary work whilst i was there but a lot of people did that because the opportunities that they offered at nottingham trent so many students did do a placement in the legal advice centre because it was that time where you thought oh hold on you mean I need experience outside my degree okay well I'll just work in the um, voluntary legal advice centre within the uni which most law st students did actually do so it's really important to try and think outside the box to try and build up your networking and then put things in place get the ball rolling so that when you finish uni if you're very serious about a, a career in law you've got those networkings and you've built those relationships with people from the industry so that's the last thing that i wish i knew number 10 is that it's really important whilst you're at uni to invest time in things and networking and um, building up your experience whilst you're there outside of just the studying side of things. So I'm pretty sure that's everything. I didn't do a list this time. I just kind of wanted to say things as I felt them that I genuinely wish that I had known first things that come to my mind before I studied my law degree. So I really hope this video has been useful to some people out there who are studying law right now thinking about studying law or just about to embark on their degree and their journey as a law student. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big like, give it a comment and I'll see you in the next video hopefully for some holiday content. Bye guys!